Cafe Versailles is one of the most popular restaurants here in Little Havana. On a Thursday night, it's always busy, but maybe not quite this busy. A lot of people here right now wanting to talk about the elimination of wet foot, dry foot. Wet foot, dry foot had been in place since the mid 90s. It applied only to Cubans, and it essentially said if a Cuban could make it to the United States, they could stay and become a U.S. resident. Not anymore. President Barack Obama on Thursday officially eliminated it. A Cuban who now enters the country illegally will be sent back to Cuba. I like it very much. What is the purpose at this point? Opinions in the little Havana neighborhood of Miami were mixed. Laura Vianeo came to the U.S. legally with a visa when she was a girl. She believes this move is best for both the U.S. and for Cuba. This young talent, the new generations, would fi will finally use their talent to have a free Cuba. Miguel Saavedra agrees. In this moment, all of the people is happy for what's going to happen now because as it, as it coming, good future for the Cuba. But Roxana Orta is afraid, afraid for all the people who will now be stuck in Cuba, unable to leave, and for those who will be sent back. The millions of people in Cuba, they are subjected to, you know, deplorable conditions, not liberty, they don't have freedom of speech. Vianeo says she shares those fears, but hopes this will be the end of dangerous attempts to get to the U.S. Finally, we're not going to see all those young people, young Cuban, the talent that has been wasted in the Strait of Florida. This announcement takes effect immediately, but of course, we're going to have a new president in about a week, and if Donald Trump chooses, he could reverse this decision. In the Little Havana neighborhood of Miami, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.